When Belfast artist Keith Drury travelled to Southampton to meet Malvina Dean, the last remaining survivor of the sinking of the Titanic, he didn't realise he would be one of the last people to speak to her. For sadly, Malvina, who was 97, died just a few weeks after their meeting. Keith had arranged to meet Malvina, whose father died in the tragedy after saving her, as part of a project spearheaded by Irish writer Don Mullen to help raise funds to pay for the cost of her nursing care. Keith, an ordained minister who is now concentrating on his artwork full time, had agreed to give a percentage of the sale price of some of his works towards Mulvina's nursing care fees. That money will now be donated to the RNLI. Um, Keith, a lot of your work has, has centred on the story of the Titanic. And uh, tell me a little bit about um, this interview that you got with uh, the, the last surviving member of the Titanic, Mulvina Dean, um, which turned out to be her last ever video interview. That's right, Mulvina was in a nursing home in Southampton and was struggling to cover the, the costs of the nursing home. And so a project was established to try and help her to keep her uh, within the, the nursing home. Many people had benefited vastly uh, through the Titanic film. And so it seemed sad in her culture that this one woman who actually had experienced the tragedy of the Titanic and lost her father in it was the one who was still suffering. And so we were looking to, if you like, redistribute a little bit of that wealth. And so a variety of projects were being initiated and I went to Southampton to engage in a project along with her and interviewed her in Southampton. She, a wonderful woman, a, a tremendous personality, 97 years of age and her personality completely defied her years, uh, full of fun, full of character. And so she signed some pieces of paper which were incorporated into the painting behind me, uh, which is now also for sale as well. Unfortunately and sadly, Malvina died uh, a few weeks afterwards. And so we, we now have entered a post-survivor era where there's no survivors left. Uh, yes, she's a fantastic personality. And I think even in the video, you'll, you'll see something of that personality coming out, uh, that, that vibrancy and that zest for life. Uh, very, very much apparent in the, in the video footage. Well, we'll go and have a look at that now. OK, Keith, thanks, thanks for giving it to us. Thank you. Thanks again, Gary. You see, because of your energy. Yes. And I say the wrong thing. Did you? Sugar. Sugar? sugar. And then it's the wrong sugar. answer. Having so much sugar. <laughs> and I've had lots of sugar all my life. Is that right? Uh, in my tea, three spoonfuls of sugar. Three? Oh, yes. And, and a wee bit of tea, Maria? And and I, I don't know how many they put in the coffee. Uh -huh. All the tea, Maria. Uh -huh. And then tea, Maria. Well, I've always had a drink. So three three sugars and a tea, Maria? Hmm? Three sugars and a tea, Maria. There won't be much tea left. Well, <laughs> I mean, tea, coffee, uh -huh. sherry. Cherry brandy. Not not all in the one cup of coffee, surely. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> so, fresh air, exercise, sugar, <laughs> and yeah. an optimistic outlook on life. An optimistic outlook in life. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's a, that's yeah. certainly a, a good foundational that ingredient. That would help quite a lot. I would think so. Yeah. I would think so. Is as I say here, uh, what can't be cured must be endured.